Good morning guys. Welcome back to a new video. New day, new motivation. I don't know what the deal is, but my motivation levels are so high today. <laughs> I was excited to wake up early and just get get up to elk camp and, and start hunting. I, I have just the morning to hunt by myself. I don't know why, that's exciting to me. I kind of like to hunt solo. So I'm gonna go give it a shot. And later in the afternoon, Jordan Harbertson should be coming to camp. Today's September 19th. Based off what I've read, the peak of the rut this year was supposed to be the 17th through the 23rd. Where I've been hunting, there has been no peak of nothing. I'm hoping that it's picked up. I know it's still hot where I'm hunting, and I think that has a lot to do with it, but I'm just gonna get up there and put myself in a position to hunt an elk. And I think I have a good idea on where I need to be based off what I've seen the last few trips. So let's, uh, let's make the long journey up to camp and get on the mountain. ridge kind of way down low he's he's headed to the tree line so I'm gonna try to lead him down in there hopefully he's cruising for cows and if I get close I could maybe pull him in but it's gonna be tough because I've already lost my elevation I don't think I'll be able to see him again until I get down there so I'm gonna bolt down here and try to give it a try so here we go. That was fun, but <clears throat> that bull circled me, caught my wind, and it was game over after that. As soon as that ended, <clears throat> I spotted a herd moving across these flats <clears throat> pretty slow. I think I have a good idea right where they're going. I just need to uh, try to get ahead of them, but freaking, I'm dying. Been running across this yellow grass for a while. If they go where I think they're going, I'm gonna be bummed I didn't sit there this morning. I'm gonna try to get up here and see if I can keep an eye on them. There it is. And as I expected, Nada. It is crazy how fast all these animals are. I had it just right in the kill zone, quartering away, and all he did was whirl out of the way, and it right went right in front of him. Hmm. Ah, dang it. Well, we're getting in now, guys. That's a good thing. It took a while to finally pull back the bow and get an opportunity look there's some tracks there they were running right through here after I shot dang it dang it dang it dang it I want to redo everything always seems like they get so rushed you know especially when you're running and gunning like that I mean I literally ran over here but um I guess I need to run faster next time. <laughs> they were actually really, really calm. Had no clue I was there until they winded me. Either they winded me or the bull bumped the cows and it, it just made them stir up a little bit. I just heard them all stir up and the dust was kind of going and they were definitely walking away from me. So I, I got to the next cedar patch and that's when they were kind of just angling away from me and I just mewed. Got the range, 65, felt good, was dialed, released, and he literally just stepped out of the way, like front shoulder, and swung his head to the right to leave, and it missed him. But hey, we got a shot. It's a lot better than what we've been doing. Well, gonna make my journey back to the truck, but getting a little elevation on this hill, looking down on where I first spotted those elk in the middle of nowhere and how far I ran to get ahead of them. Crazy that I even got a chance. That's why I'm happy. I'm just happy that that I actually committed. I made a quick decision. There was no time to like think about it. 
and I'm, I got a chance, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna head back to my truck, but I'm actually gonna take the long way. I'm gonna take the way I came down because while I was running in this wash, I could smell something dead, and it, it's new, it's something fresh, so it's either a moo cow or an elk, if I had to guess, just because it's hunting season. Might be a gut pile. But I flushed a couple crows when I was running. I just, it was still kind of dark. I wasn't looking around to even pay attention, but I'm gonna go back up in there, see what it is that's dead. Well, we have more good news. I just spotted a group of elk with a big bull up high in the cedars, and it could possibly be the one I, I just shot at. The funny thing is they're right by my truck, the direction I wanna go anyway, so. I'm going to let them settle in those cedars. I think they'll go up there in bed. Might sit on them. Just have to go check the wind and just try to see if I can get eyeballs on them. But I'm going to go up this wash, try to find whatever that dead smell was. And then slowly work my way up there. And the good thing is, is I've been up there before, so I'm a little familiar with it. This was about the last place I could smell that dead smell. But I think it was stronger up the wash. This is where I jumped or flushed out two crows. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work with my nose to find this thing somewhere up in this wash. Look at all the coyote tracks on the trail. This is the trail I came down. There's a ton of coyote tracks. I can start to smell it now. It's somewhere around here. This is when you gotta get creative. It's kinda going south. Must be somewhere up in there. I freaking told you guys. I'm glad I came back. It's a dead bull right here in the bottom. Let's go check it out. Oh man, it's got an arrow right in it. How did nobody find this one? Bummer. Look at that. Yep, here's the flies. That's what I was smelling, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the good thing is, we can probably match up the arrow to the hunter and get somebody their bull back. Tough quartering two shot, but they, they got it in there just enough smoked him it happens guys people hit him like that run out of blood it's happened before with Casey if you guys remember one of our first movie premieres it's a hunt called Idaho archery elk hunt Casey whacked a bull about as perfect as you can shoot one gave it all night just so happened to jump him in the morning and he ran we never could find him about two or three days later, another hunter found him on the private side. That's no, that's why we never found him. We never we never went down and looked on the private side of the fence. So I'm sure whoever shot this bull is uh, pretty bummed at themselves. At least we can get it back to the rightful owner and recover it. But uh, it's spoiled for sure. I knew I smelled something dead when I was running down this canyon. So the wind was going down the draw, and I must have come off the hill right below this. That's why I never ran into it. I knew it would have to be higher than where I was, and sure enough, it's right in the middle of the freaking wash. Well, I guess I'll just let it be and drop a pin on Onyx. I dropped a pin earlier where I smelled it, and it was literally just down this draw, not far at all from where I found him dead. It's crazy how close I came to him when I was running down this draw. That would have been... That would have caught me off guard. We'll see if we can find the hunter. Well, decided instead of going up on the hill already, I figured I'd let it warm up, let the thermals change, let those elk relax. I don't know if they're in the basin still, but I'd imagine that's kind of where they wanted to go bed. But I need to get a drink, some food, charge the phone. It's already down to 3%. I've been going hard on the Instagram stories, which, by the way, follow us on Instagram if you guys aren't. It's just at Get Hushin, but. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a couple camps that are close by over here and ask around to see if anybody hit a bull and see if we can figure out what's going on with that thing. And other than that, I just need to 
to eat, hydrate, charge the battery. As of right now, the, the plan is to put a play on those elk I saw headed into that big cedar basin. Hopefully it's the big dog. Well, I just left my truck Ooh. <laughs> and forgot the camera. We've got a special guest appearance with us today. The one and only Jordan Tarberson. I already sent him earlier. Eric sent one early today on a massive bull. Made a couple rookie mistakes. Rookie. Yeah, left his uh, bio harness and rangefinder behind. Shh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, guys. So earlier. But tonight, but tonight, look, he's got it. Yeah, it's not leaving my chest. This is this one. Right there. He's good. We are gonna go are put doing? a play on some elk I saw earlier. Hopefully they're still in there. If they're not, they're close, so. We're gonna hike up this ridge, up this, and use the binoculars and the spotting scope to hopefully locate some elk. It's already like 5.30, so we gotta get moving. Yeah, we gotta get the step in. Eric left the camera back at the truck. Hence yeah, why we're, we're, we're late. Back. We're late. <laughs> Let's get up here and see what we can find. Well, it didn't take us long to find the elk. They're right in the draw that I last seen them drop into, and luckily there's one cow that's kind of bedded out in the sun. She's really easy to see. I got her pinned down. When I saw them, I literally only caught the last two or three cows and a bull going over the top into this draw. So, fingers crossed that the bull's still in there. The bull. The bull just came up. Really? Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, that's him, dude? That's him, isn't it? That's him. Holy crap. Did he just switch beds? Dude, he just switched right underneath that cow. Yep, I saw his body when his, he came out. His freaking spread. <laughs> I and told his, you, his top end is huge, huh? Oh my heavens, dude. He's a great, mature bull. Funny, when you see these out kind of go bed, if you just pick the thickest patch of cedars, it's typically where they go. He literally moved, popped up, like right as I put my glass on, popped up from one big spruce and then just moved over to another and just sat back down. Yeah. <laughs> we found him a better, oh, there's there's a cow in there. He might be checking on her. Oh, come on, we need to get a chance. Welcome to camp. That's what we came here for. That's what we're looking for right there. Exactly what we came here for. sit and study this make a game plan for now I really feel like I just need to get up in there and just kind of stage I really feel like they're gonna want to leave this draw the way that they dropped into it it's a nice little saddle they're either gonna do that or go up but uh I really feel like they'll diagonal out of there so I'm gonna cross the canyon check the wind what's this sometimes the yellow grass looks like an elk they go all the time. It's just grass. So yeah, Jordan's gonna stay back here and be eagle eyes. Give me hand signals. Yeah, we're gonna call it in. I really feel like once I get up in there, I might, like Jordan said, I might be able to see pretty good on that side hill and just stage. It's all gonna be contingent on the wind once you get up there yeah, and where I'm it's going, but the, the most important thing is what he just said, which is he's just gotta get up there. <laughs> Here we go, guys. It's 5.50 and it's time to go. Man, I just want to kill this thing. Finally getting up the other side. It's windy up here on the ridge. So I'm just going to play it slow. I wanted to get above them, but uh, the way the wind's blowing, that's not going to work. Oh my freaking gosh, I just freaking shot a giant! <laughs> Get this guy! I just freaking shot a giant! Oh my god! I just shot a freaking stud! I smoked him! I smoked him, he piled up! Oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be freaking kidding me! I was walking up this ridge 
to get to the other bull with the cows. And I just look down and here's this freaking ginormous rack at 70 yards. And dialed it to 70. I snuck in a couple yards. He moved a couple yards, turned broadside, and I freaking just drilled a giant. I think he's bigger than the one I was going after. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I can't. <laughs> Guys, I was in the wide open. I was standing right here. I was standing right here in the wide open. And he was just down in there. He's dead. He's already piled up over there. I hit him perfect. I snuck down into this shade, watching his antlers. And once I saw that he turned away from me, I got to this shade. I just stood up. I'm right here in the, in the wide open sun. 70 yards broadside, perfect. And I smoked him. I freaking just smoked him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I just needed a break. I just needed a little break. We had hey, Jordan. What? I just smoked a giant, dude. Shut up. Are you serious? I'm serious. I just smoked a freaking giant. Okay, this is not the same bull we're looking at, right? No, no. <laughs> I was walking on this windy ridge, looked down and just saw antlers and there he was. I'm gonna go drop the spotter off at the truck and then I'm gonna run up the ridge. Dude, those elk are still sitting there. Should we go make a play on them? Yeah, we probably should. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, yes, dude. <laughs> Get over here, dude. Oh, just dude, I'm running, dude. walk up that ridge, walk up the backbone, you'll come to a yellow burn and then just stay left on the backside, you'll find me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find you, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm out of breath. I just ran as fast as I could. Get up here, dude. If you call me. Oh my gosh, dude. Relax, dude. Those balls are only right there. I know. They're right where did you? Where did Put it your... happen? I was walking in the wide open yellow right here. I'm, I'm like, dude. I'm right here. And all of a sudden, there's a giant bull down there. Down here. Down in the trees. Put your binos up. Look at that sucker. Tell me if you like that one. Oh my gosh, there he is. Dude. Eric. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so happy for you. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. And the wind. Dude, the wind is good for me. The wind is going over. Oh, he had no idea you were here. I was nervous for Oh my gosh. I was nervous for that stuff. Dude. Dude, we were just together like five, ten minutes ago. Now we got the dead bull. I just alerted everybody on Instagram that something just went down. We're bombing down real quick to go take a look at him. And then we're going to put a play on that other bull from Jordan. <laughs> Holy cow, that was, that was insane. I, sometimes I'm just like, I think today I was telling this other hunter I met, I'm like, man... Some people just have the luck, you know, like they're just walking through the trees. There's a bull and they shoot it. Finally happened to me. You can smell him already. He was right in here. This is right where he was. This is right the spot. Yep. He was standing right there forever. He was standing right there. He was right here when I shot him. Dude, what did I tell you? Look for blood. Not that we need to follow it, but. There's your arrow. No way. There's your arrow, dude. I must have smoked it right through him. He broke it right here. Oh yeah, it's busted. Dude, here, give me that, grab that guy. Found it. Dude. That went deep, buddy. Let's go. No, we know exactly where he's at. Eric and I were heading down here. I told him this hat right here, as you can see, it's got a lot of sweat stains. This right here is my lucky hat that I wear and have worn for all my hunts last year and this year. Eh, it wasn't lucky for me in Oregon, but dude, luck was on our side tonight with Eric dropping in to this draw, playing the wind right, and then the wind just happened to be perfect for him, dude, yes. Dude, Eric. <laughs> He's right there. Guys, that's his bull. As the millennials say, this guy is mature AF. <laughs> Look, he was so pissed when you, you shot him. He knocked down a tree right there. This is his, here's his tracks right here. He's coming up, struggling, struggling. No way. 
hunt literally seemed nearly impossible this entire hunt. And just like that, it's over. Just like that. You made a post on your page where you're like, I just got to remember that sometimes yeah. you literally just posted that, man. Oh, holy cow, dude. Wow, oh Eric. My goodness, dude. Oh, my heavens, brother. Oh, you just. Look at that shot. I wow. Just, oh, my goodness, dude. You got to be kidding me right now. Is this real life? You got to be kidding me. Is, oh, Eric. Look at that shot. Yeah, that's textbook, buddy. Have I ever made that's, a that's all those out all those hours compiled at Wild Arrow. Dude, wait till you see this left side. This could be the bull that we hunted last year. You think so? Wow! Oh, oh goodness, what? Dude. You got to be kidding me! Un yeah. Come on! Is this Unbelievable! This just happened, Eric. Eric. Dude, I got the weirdest flash right now. Eric, you are like. I'm, I didn't even I didn't even shoot the bullet. I'm sitting here. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. Gosh, how thankful are you right now, man? Dude, I'm real. Like, I can't imagine. Just to have a chance at a bull like that. I mean, right when I saw him, I just knew I had to be so careful because he looked up my way, and I was like, Eric, don't move. I'm typically very, very aggressive, really aggressive. And I just said, be patient. It was so windy, I think he was almost kind of confused. And, uh, I, I mean, it worked perfect. I, I don't even know what to think, dude. That's a giant. That's a freaking giant. That is a, as I like to say, an incredible... He didn't have cows or nothing. He's just... All by himself. On that hill by himself. And the cows and the other bull are just on the top there. Oh my gosh, Eric, look at how cool his fronts. Look at how narrow they come together like that. Are you kidding me? This I'm could very easily be the big bull that we hunted with the born and raised guys last year. You're gonna have to go back and review some tape, huh? Some, that know, character. I know, I know a hunter who's got some video of this bull this year. I mean, I. It's perfect, dude. <laughs> Guys, this is I finally, finally killed a big mature bull with a bow on this mountain. Fourth year hunting it, Fourth, and I've been so discouraged. I've been so discouraged. If you guys have watched these videos daily, just go back. You can see I'm just I'm hardly excited. I'm, I'm not filming much. I'm just down. I don't have much to say about the hunt. You know what you needed? Just like that, it's over. You know what you needed? Some Jordivation. Jordivation. Dude, we got him. <laughs> Dude, today's been on there like anything else in the morning. <laughs> Guys, Eric literally, when he called me, and I kept texting him because he kept saying, Dude, are you going to come up and hunt with me? And I was like, Yeah, dude, I'm going to come do this. I could just sense it. He, it's almost like he didn't want me to come because he's like, Dude, the hunting isn't that good. <laughs> I told you, I was like, You can buy a tag, maybe, but like, dude, it hasn't been that great. He's like, He's like, Just come up, like, but I don't know. We're probably not seeing anything instead. He's like, Every time I'd text him, I'd be like, how's it going? He's like, I'm back at home working. <laughs> yeah, that's how literally that's, that went down. That's how it was going down for him. And then today, Let me... this morning happened, and then this evening, I'm just, this is so cool to be I here. FaceTime Casey. Oh, they're gonna, he's going to FaceTime in case of Brian. Watch their reaction. Guys, public land did that is that's so that's awesome. Real game. I drilled and I don't think he's going to answer. Well, those guys say three bulls in like six days. They shot. Two. They've, been working. They've been working hard for their bulls. You have too. And here he is. Gosh, oh Eric, I can't get over this just sheer... Wait, wait, wait. Look at the left side. That's, that's, that's what... Look, look at the character, the man. Did you see the extra? This... <laughs> Bro got a little extra credit right there. Look at that sword. A plus plus. Let's let's bring it around the side so you guys can see this. this look at just look at him. Look at look at Eric. Yeah, see him stand next to him. Look at that. Oh. Dude, that is so cool. That's why we call him. That's an A plus bull. Literally, check that out. Looks like an A with the plus. Okay, so this is what Eric's talking about. This. Look look at his. 
Eric. This is cool. This is. Get some really good pictures. This is just. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna snap some shots because we got good light. But that's the thing. We still got Get light. Some pictures, knock my tag. Get up there. We're gonna go notch one for me. Oh, Eric. This is it, dude. This is what it's all about. Okay, uh -oh. picture time. Guys, we're done. Sorry. Peace out. Like 370, 360. Maybe, maybe bigger. Look at that shot, man. I, I remember how I'm just like, I want to drill them where you just know they're dead. That's the one. Triangle. You guys remember the big left, remember big back end bull last year we hunted with bro, with the born and raised? Yep. Dude, it could be, I need to look at video, but look at that left royal on fifth. How bladed it is. Yes. Look at these ones that just like touch. Here, go back there a little bit. Was he like a cow at all? No, he's just solo, dude. I, I was just walking in the wind and there he was. Holy shit. Eric, that's 370 all day. That's what we're thinking, man. We're like the show him that extra. Look at the mats. Look, look at everything that he carries everywhere. After killing my bull, taking some pictures, we ran up the ridge to chase that other one. There's only three cows. So there's only there's only three cows. Two and cows and a calf. Dropped in, and those cows that Eric and I had saw came out just ahead of the bull. The bull hadn't even moved. He, he was still, still in that, he was still still in in that there, same huh? spot by that white tree trunk. That's why I was like, he never came. Like, literally the cows were there, and then they disappeared for me. So when I got there, all of a sudden, I literally, there's, between me and him is this tree. Because all of a sudden, I come off to the side, and I see him standing, and he's looking straight my way. Oh, he was. He was looking, so he was kind of like, and I think maybe I had alerted one of the cows, which is what put him on alert, because I was going really quiet, really slow, once I got in position. So I came at full draw. Once I came around the tree and I ranged him, he was 80 yards, so I dialed for 80, and he was standing just looking at me like this, but mm -hmm. slightly, slightly like this. Slightly quartered at you. So I had a slight quarter shot, so I came at the full draw, stepped behind the bush, and then I settled right into my shot, and right as I settled into my shot, he just kind of like, ah, it's just yeah. how it always happens, just turns, and as he turns, I'm like, meow, Yeah, meow. when I started hearing you mew, I was like, dude, I think he, he's close. I'm trying to, I... I, hey. I was gonna send it at 80. One out of two. Dude. Not bad. <laughs> well guys, I am still in shock about this bull, man. I'll tell you what. It's just crazy how it went down. I feel so lucky, so thankful to even have a chance at this bull. And this could have been the bull I saw this morning. I'm still confused because I never got a really good look at him, even as close as I was. It was either this bull or the other bull that uh, Jordan went after. But uh, it's late, it's dark. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's time to cut him up and pack him out of here. There he is. Man, I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you for watching these videos. Look at the freaking neck on this thing. He's so pretty. Time to do work, guys. Running out of battery, too, it's about dead. We had a long night. It is like 2.30 a.m. and we just got back to where we're gonna set up camp this is not our camp I have a trailer and everything but we are just gonna stay over here in this area because we're gonna hunt the morning and then we got to go pack out the head and the last two hind quarters but it's probably what 40 degrees here it's chilly it's freaking cold. here's a Jordan Jordan's got the canvas cutter low dominate right here baby that was an insane day. Just oh. still mind blown. The one thing I told Eric is I said, bro, you've got to put a GoPro on your head. Mm -hmm. The rest of us are never going to uh, know what's in here. I wish that could have been on film, guys. I just rolled up the cape. I don't know what it is with this thing, but that's one of the heaviest heads and capes I've ever packed out. And I've packed out a handful. I'm going to have Jordan lift this up for you guys real quick. Holy crap, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Guys. freaking heavy, huh? Guys, he is he is heavy. That He's cape. pretty. Yeah, that's a lot of cape right there. I think I got more than I needed, but better safe than sorry. Like we were saying or do that again though. Touch it, pat it. Yeah. Half of it's dust. On the inside, there's like a half inch layer of dust. 
to with this guy. What a bull. Yeah, what an experience, what Eric. Cool <laughs> what an experience. Here we go, boss. They call these ass, ass to the grass. Oh, the Initiate launch. Dude, that cape is going to drape in front of me, isn't it? Nope, it's actually going to stay right there. Okay, I have, I have no time to waste. Yeah, let's just keep going. <laughs> oh. I can't see. <laughs> What's in front of me, dude? So Eric and I tried our engineering packs and uh, it honestly just wasn't working. So we took the two quarters down and then came back after we made a PB and J. Look at this, bro. <laughs> dude. You made it through. I just don't know if people will truly appreciate and understand the sheer, not only width of him. I never struggled so much to get a head out. But his cape and his head weigh more than the quarters did. Both of them. Wow. I got a freaking Donald Trump on my head, dude. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> dude. This is awesome. Let me help you out, bro. Oh, man. There we go. This guy. Look at what a legend he is. This is what we call. Is this really how people do this? Yeah, people do this, Eric. This is the worst. Not many of them do it with a 350 plus class bull, though. So, look at how far he drapes down. Okay, Jordan's gonna give it a try. I've got to try it. We've got the cape wedged up, so no more Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Making progress. <laughs> oh, you be careful. On the downside now. Last leg before the truck. Doing good, Eric. Look at that fancy footwork. Dropped him off. These are just the scraps. Well, this is the back straps and the tenderloins. Mostly elk meat, some rib meat, and some neck meat. Did I say elk meat? It's all elk meat. And we got the quarters in the, the cooler. We got the beast here. We put, we put some measurements on him. 20 inch royal. At least a 54 inch main beam on that side. 19. 19. Yeah, that was 19. I haven't scored him yet. So many people on Instagram and through text are asking me what the score is. And I'm like, he's 520 all day. 540. Yeah. <laughs> 540 all well, day. I got to find somebody in town who can cape it, and then I think we're going to go grab a burger. Dustin's going to go show us a good place here in town. You got a good spot? Good cool. Bet. He's a local legend. He yeah. knows where to go. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. If you have watched to this moment, I just want to say thank you and I hope you enjoyed the film. This was one of my most exciting hunting memories of all time. Archery elk hunting, my favorite thing to do. And now that we're fast forward to 2022, I've got the bull mounted since then and now we can actually come in the shop, show this thing off to you guys and give you some more details of the hunt that was never captured on film. So one of the puzzle pieces I put together after the fact was this was indeed the bull that I shot the arrow at earlier in the day before I found the deadhead. Same bull, it's just that when they spooked, they all split up and that other six point I think snagged some of those cows and worked higher up into those cedars while this bull possibly a smarter bull, decided to go solo and go to his safe zone where he has been getting away for years and years from other hunters. So super cool experience to get a shot opportunity at him early in the day, miss. Um, I think I was pretty optimistic and you know not a downer at the time and I think that really put me in position uh, for the second chance and to get it done. So the bull is bigger than I thought. In person I knew he was big but his body was so massive and I have cleaned and taken care of plenty of elk. His quarters were huge. His neck was huge. And it wasn't until I got this set of antlers off the skull plate that I really realized just how big he was. So let me give you a close up and show you the mount and give you a little bit better perspective of this guy on the wall. So as you saw, the bull did have some broken points. Um, this one, which 
in my opinion, could have been fairly long, and then at least two or three inches off the third. So he's a six by seven. He's got a really pretty six point frame with the one extra. I think three or four of us have put a tape on him. Um, it's always fun to score him just for reference. It really helps you become a better field judger. Now this is a hunt that I would have shot almost any mature bull. <laughs> So to walk away off the mountain with what is now my second biggest bull is pretty cool. Four of us put the bull anywhere from 381 to 384, as is. So he's somewhere just shy of 385 with broken points. If you were to add the non-busted points, I think this bull potentially is pushing 390 gross. And it's just because he has everything, really. He's deceptive until you put him next to other big bulls and that's because everything is so evenly distributed. Like he's got long points, 54 inch main beams, but mass like crazy. Um, and it's just so well spread out that until you put him next to other elk, you don't realize how big he is. So great width, decent beams, you know, okay fronts. Uh, the seconds are a little weak but he carries it all the way through. And, and uh, yeah, that bull's pushing 390 if he's not broke. For a lot of people that watch me on Instagram and social media, it wasn't until I put him next to this bull, the fire bull, that people really started to realize just how big he was. Uh, so this bull is like 394. This bull's like 384. Um, both great bulls. Those are my two biggest elk and uh, they just so happen to be with archery equipment. There's some uh, little details on the elk, give you guys a good look at them here in the shop. Um, this hunt was in 2018 and we wanted to re-edit it as its own video because if you guys remember back then, we were putting videos up day by day and it included three perspectives. So Brian, Casey, and myself were filming every single day and then putting those videos together as one. So we decided to just take a minute, re-edit this one as its own video. So now it can be a standalone video on our channel just in time for the fall hunts to get you guys hyped up. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, get ready for more of this because 2022 our pockets are filled with a lot of good elk tags. So wish us luck and we'll see you on the mountain.